Hey guys, in this section I want to create an XML file and I want to create a schema as well. Now, we went over a lot of this in the PowerPoint, but sometimes it's easier to, to learn when you're seeing it actually being done. Um, so I'm going to create a new folder and this is going to be chapter 3, section 2. Alright, so I'm going to open this folder and I'm going to create a new document and I'm going to call this movies.xml so this is an XML document now so I'm going to edit that you can see the little icon changes as well if you're in Windows I'm going to open this in notepad and I'm going to create the document from scratch so as you saw in the tutorial the first thing we have is the um, declaration so we want to say uh, less than then a question mark and then XML all right that's the opening tag for this and then we have the question mark and a greater than sign and in here we well, in here we just want to put in the version that we're using so we'll say version and we are going to be using 1.0 we can also put the encoding attribute but it's not needed so this is what this is going to be is it's going to be a structure of movie data so we'll have uh, different movies which will have a title a year a genre and a director so like I said in the PowerPoint we need to have a root element and there can only be one instance of this root element and in this case it's going to be called movie I'm sorry movies with an S and that has to have a closing tag all right so that's our root element um, the next thing we want to add is our child elements so in the movies element we will have the movie element all right so in that child element we want to have sub some sub child elements so we'll have title Um, we'll have year, um, genre, and finally we'll have uh, director. Nope, oh, sorry, I, don't, I can't type today. All right, so this is a, this is the movie element we're gonna have um, a couple of these so I'm gonna copy this and let's say we'll have five movies in this document so the first one will say the Godfather I'm just gonna put a couple movies that I enjoy uh, and the year for that was 1972 the genre would be I guess drama and the director is Francis Ford Coppola. All right, so that's one movie object or element. So let's add another one. Let's say Super Bad, another one of my favorites. We'll say 2007. Genre is a comedy. Uh, director is Greg. Matola. So next we have the departed from Boston. So that's one of my favorites. 2006. Genre is drama. Director is Martin Scorsese. Uh, let's see. C O R S E S E. So next we have, we'll say Saving Private Ryan. And that was made in 1998 and is, I guess, an action. Director was Steven Spielberg. Actually, I think it's ERG. And finally we have the Expendables, which was in 2010, it was also an action, 
and director was Sylvester Stallone. All right, so we have our, our document. Let's save this, and we can, like I said, XML isn't, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't, um, it doesn't display much. Uh, we can look at it in the browser. So if I go to my file and I go to open with, actually I'll just open it with Internet Explorer. I try not to use that browser, but so you can see it's just it just displays uh, exactly like it does when it's in our editor. All right, so same thing. I mean, there's, we can style this a little bit if we want to. We can use CSS. Um, but we're not going to do that in this section. So that's our document. What I want to do now is create a schema. And we're going to use DTD, which is document type definition. Actually, you know, before we do that, I actually want to validate this XML. So I'm going to copy all of it and go to my browser and just search for XML validator. I don't know why this is taking so long. All right, so W3 Schools has a nice XML validator, so I'm just gonna paste this in here and click on Validate. And you can see we have no errors found. Now let's, let's take out one of these closing movie tags and try to validate it. And you can see it tells us exactly where it is. It's, there's an error on line 33 at column 15. Opening and end tag mismatch. Movie line zero and movie. So it tells us exactly where it is and what it is. So uh, this is a really good tool. If you're going to be working with XML, I suggest that you bookmark this page uh, just so you can validate your files. You can also validate it um, through here as well if you want to add the actual file if you want to um, point a link to the file. Uh, you can also validate against DTD. Uh, we're going to create a DTD file right now. So in that same folder I am going to create a new document and I'm going to call it movies.dtd. Now we don't have to do this. We don't need a, a second document. We can actually put it in line uh, at the top of our XML file, but I, don't know, I just figured that I'd do it externally just so you can see how it's done. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to type out the format that we need um, in order to validate each element. So the syntax is less than and then an exclamation mark and we want to put the word element and then we want the element name and then we want the type. So that's the syntax that we need to use in a DTD document. Now the type uh, can be a couple different things. Um, one thing, if the element name if the element doesn't contain any content, then that's an empty element, so we have to define it here. Um, if the element contains only other elements and no content, and you can see that uh, in this case, the movie element uh, doesn't contain content in itself, but it contains other elements, child elements, with content. So we have to specify that if that's the case. We can also, I'm sorry, we can also have a mixed type, which would be a combo, a combination of child elements and character data. And then the last kind of type would be any anything, any content allowed by DTD. Uh, before we create this file, I actually want to see if I can show you some examples. Um, well, here's an example right here in this, this validator, and we'll be using this as well. Um, so we have like I said, we have the element keyword, and then we have the element name. In this case, is note, and this is going to be the root. This is coming from right here, note. So this is the DTD 
validating this XML, just so you know that. Now, inside Note, um, we don't have any content, we just have other elements. So the type, we're just gonna list all of those elements, all right? Okay, so the next element we have is two, that's right here. Um, this is, there's no other elements inside of this. Uh, there's only content, and that's gonna be called PC data, okay? And that just means parse data. It's just data that's gonna be read um, by, the, by XML, by the system. So if you have just an element with just content in it, then this is gonna be the type. So what I wanna do is make our own DTD document going by this example. So I'm gonna make this a little smaller. Now, the first thing we wanna have is our root element, which is movies. So our element name will be movies. Oh. Now the type, if we look, we have, we always want the first instance or the first um, child. So in this case, it's movie, all right? So that's all we need for the type. I'm sorry, this should be in parentheses. All right, so the next thing, let's just copy this. The next thing we have is our, after movies, is our movie element. So let's just take that S off. And the movie element has some sub-elements. We have title, year, genre, and director. So that's what we need to put here. Title, year, genre, and director. So that's all set. The next thing we have is uh, title. So let's just paste that in and we have title. Now if we look at title, all title has in it is the content, okay? So this is data that's gonna be parsed. So this is PC data. So we wanna put a pound sign PC data. Now I can copy this because the rest of our elements, year, genre, and director are all gonna be parsed data. So let's save this. Now, right now these are two separate files and they're not linked. In order for them to be linked, we have to declare our file, our DTD file, in our inside of our XML file. And to do that is easy. We just want to do uh, doc type, and then we want our root element. So in this case, is movies. Uh, and then we want to write the word system and then our file name, which is movies.dtd. And finally, we just actually, the file name should be in quotes, double quotes. All right, so that's it. That's how you include or declare an external DTD file. So what I wanna do now is actually validate this just to make sure that we did it right. Um, so I'm gonna actually use this here. I'm gonna copy all of my XML and paste that in. Well, not sure what happened there. All right, so I'll paste that in. And I want to remove this because obviously we have to have this in line to validate. So I'm gonna grab my DTD data, put that right under the XML declaration. All right, so that looks good. All right, now this says IE only, but it actually does work in Chrome. All right, so this page contains two errors. Error on line two, 
start tag invalid element name. Okay, so invalid element name. We have movies, movies. Huh. I'm not exactly sure why that happened. Oh, I'm sorry, we have to add our doc type here. So we want to say doc type movies and then brackets. And we want to include all of our DTD data inside of that. So we want bracket and then our greater than. All right, so that should, all right, so now we have no errors found. All right, so we've built an XML document that is valid with a DTD schema. So that's it for this section. Uh, next, we'll be looking at JSON and some of the syntax of objects, arrays, and stuff like that. So I will see you in the next section.